guys, welcome back to Lifestyle Pop Lanouche here and today I am actually for the first time making a video that I have been asked for. So um, several people asked me for advice on how to pack. I am thinking of making this a regular feature on our YouTube channel from myself, from experienced stylists, etc., on how to questions perhaps. So if this is something you might be interested in, do comment and don't forget to subscribe and like this video as per usual because the fashion content here is amazing. Fashion and style. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so today we are talking about how to pack for a three destination trip. Now, a little heads up intro i am traveling i am going to three different locations so i'm starting yeah it is three different locations sorry <laughs> there is a fourth one but it's not a location per se it's the trip itself which i'll get to in a second i'm starting by uh driving to verona uh, i'm only gonna stay there for one evening and then the next morning i'm going to board the train the Venice Simplon train that goes um, Verona to Paris. Then once I arrive to Paris, I go to Disneyland. I'm staying in Disneyland for a few days and then I return uh, back to Paris and I stay in Paris for a few days. I have an event in Paris on the last day and then I come back home. So as you can imagine, this could be quite a troublesome itinerary for somebody who wants to pack a lot of cool fashion items, etc., etc. So I'm going to tell you a little bit on how I personally do it. My number one tip on just for the record, this is an eight day trip. So it's not actually a long trip. It's like a few days in different locations. And my first and foremost advice on any travel that includes several destinations is try to keep everything somewhat in the same color scheme because that way you can use similar accessories you can uh, use the same cardigan a few times with two different looks for example you can have maybe two or three bags only and uh, mix and match all of your outfits together with those two three bags so it is pretty much the easiest way of doing it if you know you're not an experienced stylist or whatever and you are not accustomed to you know, mixing a lot of different colors together in strange ways, etc. This is my rail that I have curated and I'm going to pack it. There are the shoes. You're going to see a lot of the similar <laughs> same color shoes here, but I have to be honest with you. Some of these, for example, they are going to be worn with like three or four of the same outfits. The ones here, the silver ones here, this is obviously for the event because I am going to a black tie event. Actually, I have two you know, very formal looking um, dinners this trip. And I'm going to wear these shoes with one of the dresses for the uh, black tie. I'll start with that, to be honest with you. So I am going to a birthday party and the dress code was Roaring Twenties. So this is going to be my Roaring Twenties dress <laughs> that I'm going to wear for a friend of mine's birthday party in Paris. I'm very excited about it. And there you are you can take a look at my outfit at the end of this video you can take a look at all of my outfits and looks uh, throughout this trip that i'm talking about now the venice simplin however is a little bit specific so it's a one night trip they have a very strict dress code in fact i really 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 want to do a video on dress codes again drop me a comment please if uh you're interested in something like you know dress codes and how to follow dress codes and how it's changed over the years because it has changed a lot and uh, people don't follow dress codes like they used to so sometimes when you do follow it you come in looking you know rather different <laughs> than everybody else so this could be a very interesting topic and if you're interested do let me know because i am dying to make that video in this case though when we board the belmont train they have told us that we have to check in our luggages because we are traveling to a destination so they assume you have luggages but uh you do need to change for dinner and the dinner is black tie dress code which by the way black tie fun fact is a long gown for women and it's a tuxedo for men. I'm not sure if it's gonna be actual black tie. I have a hard time imagining women wearing black tie dresses, sweeping the floor and men wearing the bow tie, the belt and you know, the entire tuxedo um, thing. But I do believe we're gonna see a lot of black and um, dark color suits and maybe cocktail dresses from women. And cocktail is any evening dress that is above the ankle. So yes, my dress is not going to be an actual black tie. It's going to be a very, very formal cocktail dress. So for this, 
and I'll, I'll show you my beautiful dress that I've planned for the dinner on the Belmont train. I'm gonna have little gloves and this as well and yeah you can take a look but just wait for the end because you're gonna see a lovely video with this. I'm not gonna show you all of the looks I've planned for the Venice Simplon but I'll tell you that since I have to um, arrive in an outfit I have to change into an evening dinner outfit and then the next morning obviously I have to get off the train and there is a lunch or a breakfast and still every time you go to the restaurant you have to be dressed in casual smart attire and no they do not offer any laundry services on the train they do not offer steaming services so I'm going to carry all of these two three looks in just a cover on like a hanger so yeah that's how i'm gonna bring in my two three looks for the belmont and then everything else that you see here is going to be packed so i've got a lot of jeans a lot of t-shirts that i'm going to match with my uh, shoes and bags i'm going to show you the two bags that special bag you've probably seen in our video the fendi peekaboo um, if you haven't there's a link um, do watch the unboxing of this because it was pretty cool and i do talk about the convenience of this bag hence why i'm taking it i'm taking this classic chanel with uh, gold hardware and of course i'm taking two evening bags because I have two events. So yeah, there's a black one and a silver one. So as you can imagine, the size of these bags is rather small. It doesn't take up a lot of space in my suitcase and that's a little hack on how to pack. So just make sure more of your outfits match the same bags and that way you don't need to take up a lot of space in your luggage and try to take bags that are not so large in size. And that way you can also save a lot of space it's easier said than done but this is spring uh, break so of course we don't need any jackets we don't need any boots so <laughs> all of this is gonna fit in literally one luggage i'm going to take one suitcase i'm going to take a weekend bag and as i said just like the dust cover for the dresses for the belmont so there you go guys there's a photo of how my luggages looked when i was leaving the house for my eight day three destination trip to conclude this video just to recap on the tips i would give for packing for a any trip number one color scheme keep it to one or two color schemes because you can match your accessories to it you don't need different bracelets and different handbags and different shoes for one week's travel. You can take three pairs of shoes, two bags, and you can match it to all of your outfits. So that's number one. Number two, make sure to uh, work out your outfits in advance. So if you're traveling for, let's say, two weeks, it's fair to say you're not going to work out and style an outfit in your head you know, just before you go. You're gonna take a lot of different things and probably two suitcases or, and whatnot. And then you're going to kind of work out your looks on the spot and maybe repeat some items. Definitely my advice, if it's one week's travel or under, make sure you've styled your looks before because then you don't, you're not gonna end up stranded. You know what I mean? So each day, this is what I'm wearing. Even if you're repeating your t-shirts or even if you're repeating your cardigans, definitely uh, have the looks in mind. And number three, is by all means repeat certain items because that's how you save space and generally this will be number four actually so repeat items so if for example you're taking a cardigan such as this one wear it twice or three times you can wear it with jeans and a t-shirt one day you can wear it with leggings the next day and there's really no issue with that whatsoever it's a cardigan it's not like uh, a t-shirt that's close to your body or anything else and the fourth tip i shall say is keeping a certain decorum in this case i haven't been able to do that so much i actually have but only maybe for half the trip as an example i've taken these cowboy boots yeah so these cowboy boots are going to be styled with this dress. They're going to be styled with this dress. They're going to be styled with these jeans. I've got a pair of dark jeans in here um, and a t-shirt. They're going to be styled with this cardigan and uh, leggings as well. So it's kind of this cowboy theme, which it's not, but it's just going to be much easier for me to dress when I'm away and not take too many luggages because this bag and these shoes match perfectly well together with all four of those or five of those looks. So this is what I mean by keeping an idea of a decorum and whatnot. For example, when I'm going on the Belmont train, I am keeping this kind of you know, 20s, 40s, chic, uh, Chanel style decorum. So everything in my um, 
dust cover is going to be in the same style in that you know theme so it's going to be much easier for me to dress there because i don't need you know five different types of shoes five different types of bags and etc anyways i do hope that this was helpful do not forget to subscribe and like there's a lot of amazing content on lifestyle pop and there's going to be a lot of fantastic and interesting people and stylists and really fashion connoisseurs who are going to give you lots of tips and advice on this uh, channel and yeah i hope you enjoy my looks see you later Guys, by the way, I completely forgot to mention this in the intro, which is why I'm telling you now. I learned this the hard way. Whenever you're traveling, whether it's for two days or three weeks, regardless of that, pack a pajama <laughs> and a tracksuit. It's so helpful. You have no idea how many times I've been stranded somewhere where all I have is the hotel robe. So definitely, definitely, definitely take one tracksuit with you just in case and one pajama pair whatever shorts pants t-shirt whatever is your thing just because sometimes you do end up needing these things you might never use it and you might use it every day you never know but this is another packing tip so if you can swing that you can fit that definitely do <laughs> anyways once again don't forget to subscribe and like Mwah.